Good morning, you guys. Good morning, guys. It's induction day. We are about to leave the house to head to the hospital. And I don't know about you, but I am super nervous. I'm anxious. I'm ready to meet baby boy. And hopefully we have a smooth and easy delivery. Um, we have everything in the car ready. Diego already went outside to make sure that it was all there. And he turned the heater on because it is cold this morning. But we are about to head out. Gianna's already at her grandma's house. We dropped her off last night. And that was very bittersweet. But we know when her brother gets home she's going to be so excited and she's just going to love him so we're about to head out to the hospital and i'm just going to show you guys the last belly shot right, let's go so we just left the house it is 4 42 a.m our induction is scheduled for 5 a.m so we're right on track um because we only live about 10 minutes away from the hospital um, I did grab a yogurt though because one there's not that many like breakfast spots available and two um, I don't really want to eat a lot so I grabbed the yogurt and there was not really a morning or a breakfast person so I think you're fine right in the meantime um, we are gonna ask once we get there if like family members can bring us food out to like the main entrance but we're not sure um, hopefully they can because it's gonna be a long day hopefully we get to meet baby boy today on tuesday and not on wednesday um but yeah we're on our way to the hospital to the hospital you guys it's 4 50 we're about to get off and get our bags and check in are you excited yeah but kind of nervous i'm nervous too i feel like i'm more nervous this time than i was with gianna and i don't know why but it should be easier this time hopefully. i hope so i hope so I i'm hope not so. tired this time <laughs> we'll see <laughs> okay guys we're gonna go ahead and get off you ready daddy let me get a picture of you like I did when we left to go have Gianna. One, two, three. We weren't in a pandemic when we had Gianna. <laughs> go. We checked in. Let's go. So we just got upstairs, it's 523. Um, I have to change into my gown and Diego's gonna give you guys a quick room tour of our suite. <laughs> so this is where they're gonna lay baby boy. I don't know how, what you call this thing. What is it called? I think it's a, I don't know, a warmer? Mm -hmm. So I get their weight and all that after they're done. Yeah, this little bed over here. Just a little plan. Birth plan. And we're just waiting on the nurse. Yeah, they're gonna come in and take my vitals and then hook, hook me up to um, the monitors, but we're just waiting. So the nurse just came in and we got my little, um, what is this called? IV. We got my IV put in and she's gonna come back in a few minutes to check my cervix and make sure baby boy is head down. Um, as of right now, he is. So just to double check whenever she gets back. And then after she checks my cervix, we're going to start Pitocin and we're just gonna keep upping the Pitocin until I get to um, contracting like I should. And yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. Baby boy is doing good. My vitals came back good. So um, hopefully it shouldn't be 
It shouldn't be too long. It shouldn't be too long until he's here. But yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. Alright, you guys, so it is now 7:24. We started Pitocin about 10 minutes ago. And my doctor just came in to try and break my water, but it wasn't successful, so she's gonna come back um, in a bit to try and break it again so we can get things going. But I did start contracting on my own before they started Pitocin, so that's a good sign. Um, so they're just gonna let the Pitocin run a little bit longer so I can have more contractions, and hopefully that moves my cervix down a little bit more, and then she'll come back to break my water. But Gianna is actually awake, so I wanna FaceTime her so she can see us. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Gianna, your mom and dad. Gianna. Gianna. Good morning, baby. Hi. Gianna, mama. Mama. Aquí tengo mi bed. Ooh, what are you doing? Did you sleep good? No, it it didn't hurt while she was breaking my water. It hurt before she broke my water. It was just like a lot of pressure. Contractions should start getting stronger and we should start dilating pretty soon. Are you excited? Yeah. I'm getting a little scared because I don't want that IV medication and I'm scared for the epidural. Achy. Huh? Achy and tired. Did the doctor go and uh, clean you? No. You're still the same? Um, they weren't kidding when they say your contractions pick up after your water breaks. They hurt. I mean, they're still bearable, but they're really uncomfortable.
It is 12.54, it is about to be 1 o'clock, and the last time that we updated you guys, it was 8.30. Um, I got my epidural put in at 11, I could not take the pain anymore. When I got here, um, they checked me and they said I was like barely a 2, so I had like just gotten to a 2, and I was about 20 to 25% effaced, and after they started the Pitocin, Within about an hour and a half, I dilated to four centimeters and 80% effaced, and my contractions were coming every one to two minutes, and they were getting very painful. Um, I only had two pain medication options. It was the Stadol or the Epidural, and the IV medication made me really loopy and it didn't work when I gave birth to Gianna, so I opted for just getting the Epidural. Um, so that's what we did. I got the epidural put in at 11, but my blood pressure dropped um, pretty low. It's been in the 80s, and it hasn't gone back up um, to the hundreds. Thanks, baby. Um, it's been in the 80s, 90s. It hasn't gone back up um, higher than 107, so they had to give me some medication to make it go up. Um, it's been kind of working, kind of not. Um, they came to the conclusion that the epidural was just too strong, so the anesthesiologist came back and turned it down a notch. Um, and that should help. If not, then we're going to have to take the epidural out. But I'm going to take advantage while I have it in and try to take a nap. Um, just in case we do have to take it out. But according to the nurses, they think baby boy should be here before five o'clock. And I hope so. How are you feeling? Turn it around. Just nervous.
Once again, that. And we'll update y'all in a little bit. Alright, you guys. It is 1.22. My doctor came in right after we finished um, the last update. And she checked me again and they put my catheter in. I am now 6 centimeters dilated and 90% effaced. So they think baby boy will be here sometime this afternoon around 4 might be sooner um but yeah it's getting it's getting real yeah. it went from being like super painful super chaotic to being like super chill super relaxing and i just really want to take it up and i said that the last time but i couldn't because it came in but <coughs> I need to I need to go ahead and take a nap because yeah. start pushing pretty soon excited yeah Okay, so the nurse just checked me and I am nine and a half centimeters dilated. It is almost time to push. She went to go call my doctor because by the time she gets here, we should be at a full 10. Um, so yeah, it is currently 3.30. Hopefully baby boy will be here no later than 4.30. Hopefully. You need to eat your food. I know, I want to go get some food. <clears throat> so. Diego went to go eat some food and... No, I want to go get some. Oh, Diego went to go get... Oh, you nervous, ain't you? Kind of. Kind of. Can you tell? A little bit. Just a little bit. It's almost baby time! Is there anything you want to tell your son before he's born? You just going to put me on the spot I am. Ready to meet him. Arrival at 5.21 p.m. on October 6th. He's the most precious little thing ever. He reminds us so much of Gianna. He definitely cries louder than Gianna. And he's really good at feeding. He already um, he already ate on both sides. And now he's just, he's just cuddling with mama. Thank goodness that... Our delivery went well, and we're both healthy and safe. Hey, <laughs> Bebecito. Hey, Bebecito. 